Hey guys, I don't know why I sucked my teeth. I don't really care. Whatever. Um, so as you can probably tell from the title of this video, it's going to be about music and how I feel about music. And ironically enough, I actually plan and plot these these vlogs out weeks in advance. <laughs> but it just so happens that um, I definitely needed some music this week. This week was oddly shitty. Like it was. I just feel like I got almost nothing done. I almost cried in the computer lab. I was supposed to do my homework and I watched YouTube videos all day. Oops. <laughs> um, and then my friend, she actually, she's in a chorus and I was watching her. She had a music concert thing today, so I saw that. So ironic how music is, is here. But I am glad to be able to talk about music and really talk about how it affects me because it definitely really helped me this week because I was just going through a lot. It was just a lot, I really painful like it's painful it's like and just weird and depressing and painful for no reason a lot of work I wanted to do just get it didn't get done deadlines like personal deadlines I had it just haven't been met I'm just getting pissed off at myself um because I know there's like this gonna be this huge push in December and I've just gotta it's like when you're having a baby it's that last push that's the hardest or whatever I've never had a baby I have no idea it's a metaphor um so music why is music so awesome why is music so great why is it so important to me so music for a very long time or forever has pretty much been a constant companion of mine even when I didn't really have friends I always had music um all different kinds of music like politically aware music my family was very much into because we're a very politically aware family um and I've got tensions and that's cool whatever um and we're a very politically aware family so we did listen to like krs1 and public enemy that kind of thing um that kind of music when i was younger but as i got older i was very much i was just really turned off as a young and budding feminist in elementary and middle school i was very much turned off to like certain types of rap and hip-hop and denigration of women like everybody loves lauren hill and and you know erica badu and all that stuff but that kind of started to disappear and you know, Queen Latifah and all those other women you know those other female MCs who were very much about this kind of raw power and the lyrical ability and that kind of thing very much began to disappear and with it did you know their kind of brand of hip-hop and and its message for women and so I really felt like excluded out of that plus I was always having problems with people telling me I wasn't black enough but you know fuck those people um, and, you know, that just really cemented that I was like, I'm not really feeling this. So for a long time, I didn't really listen to any kind of newer music. I was just not interested, especially in hip-hop and R&B. And then, I'm always yawning in these videos because I'm an asshole who doesn't get enough sleep. Um, but um, I realized that, you know, there were other genres out there, duh. And at the like at the very end of middle school, I started listening to metal, and then like all throughout high school and through a lot of, you know, like metal has been so good to me <laughs> as a genre. So um, there was that, and then around 2011, when I went to grad, when I was going to grad school, getting my master's, I started listening to um, hip hop again because it was very, it had changed, it had evolved. You have people like Drake, or whom I love, The Weeknd. <laughs> G, well, Jeezy now, but not. I didn't listen to him then. I've been listening to him for like maybe a year. I'm gonna go with a year, about a year. Yeah, I would say that. Um, and you know that you have that kind of hip hop now, but then I was just listening to metal, um, all different kinds, mostly metal and like rock and alternative, that kind of thing. That was like my my main gig. But why? The question is, why did I listen to that? And I listened to it because, one, I like the way it sounds. Like, I like the way metal sounds for the most part. I like the lyrics. I feel like they're very relatable to my life. There's times when I'm in very dark spaces, and I feel like it really helps get me out. But I think that music in general has this transformative nature to it. Like, for instance, uh, anybody who knows me knows I love The Weeknd. And I have all of his, I bought all of his albums. And But there's one particular album, the first... So he had three mixtapes, and then he had, then it was an album, compiled into an album called Trilogy. And Trilogy is like your best friend that you know when you're down, like when you're just in like this 
shithole depression and you're just like I can't do anything right everything I touch just is bad and I hate life and it hates me back and even though there are little good things that happen a lot of bad things happen too and you have your friend that no matter what you know when you're up they're keeping you up and when you're down they're trying to hold you down you know what I mean? like they're they're not hold you down like they're putting pressure on you I mean like they're there for you they're your rock and that's what I do I will listen to that album constantly and it really puts me it really helps situate me in a space and I guess this feels like a part two of the depression video because I will when I'm upset or depressed or I need to feel something but I think that music literally is transformative like I was walking home from school two weeks ago I was walking and I was walking through the street and for half of that block I actually thought I was back home in Brooklyn like I was back home walking to school from Brooklyn College which is the place I got my master's from it was in my mind it was like 10 o'clock at night it was dark out I was walking to the train station I snapped out of it and I wound up in the middle of I'm, you know, on the sidewalk in Ohio, like, where am I? And it was 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun's out. I literally was like, where am I? Because I was listening to that song, and I was listening to this music, and I remembered where I was when I really needed those lyrics, or what, how I felt when I first heard that song. Or, like, all of these memories. Music will flood your mind with so many great memories. And it's funny, because in, in his new album, what's the, um, In the Night actually has a reference to like when a person hears a song their emotions but I feel like emotions are tied to songs so much and how you feel or what makes you feel better is really a lot of it's tied to music I mean think about people have wedding songs they have like their first dance and they have like their playlist or when you listen to a DJ you love a certain set he does and those kinds of things like that is that's such a big thing to me music and how it literally just it, your whole like you could be having the worst day ever and then you listen to something and you're just like, you know, this day was bad. I admit it, but it's going to get so much better. It's like, it's a bad day, not a bad life, which is, I saw on a Lisa Frank poster. Um, but that's how, what music can do. Music can spread messages, subversively or not subversively. If you think about like, what was it called? I think it was called Racy Records. And it was like, you know, these kind of subversively sexual records, you know, from like 30s and 40s. And, or like, you know, just messages of unity or uniting through struggle and political, you know, political music or even music that is meant to entertain and talks about certain lifestyles and things that happen in people's lives. It's like music tells story and you absorb that story and you listen to it and you feel it internally and you feel sometimes how that person feels or sometimes you feel relieved and I just why do I record so late at night what the fuck is wrong with me um but you feel that like music makes you feel so many emotions like when you hear like it just I you know it's it's it's, it's really hard to describe sometimes unless you know like you know think about your favorite song why is it your favorite song why is it no matter when that song comes on, you know all the words. You know that word to those songs better than you know your job and you've been working your job for 20 years. Why is that? You know, why is it that when you think about your child, sometimes you think about music or you think about songs that you think that make you think of them. And it's like, because music has that kind of power, it, it makes you feel some kind of way. It makes you... It brings out emotions, it, it brings out, brings people together, it brings a sense of understanding. It's, it's just amazing. And um, I just think that I just, sometimes I really don't, I just, sometimes I, I really doubt the power of music. Like sometimes when I'm just so low, or when I'm just so somewhere else, but I just listen to music and I'm like, it'll be better. Like this week was like crazy, I just was dealing with so much or there are times when I was younger and I was so alone and I just had my music and even songs that I've listened to forever I, will, I won't get tired of them because I know I know what I felt like when I needed that song I know what I felt like when I needed to hear a certain album or a certain record or a certain artist like a certain sometimes like when I was doing my thesis I make this joke that Drake wrote my thesis because 
I had so many issues getting getting to the final stages of my thesis. There were so many problems I was having, so many personality clashes I was dealing with in grad school. But I would listen to him, and he had this like arrogance about him that I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna be great, no matter what you say, no matter what you do. I'm gonna work my ass off and be great. I'm gonna show all of you that you're wrong. And that was that mentality that I needed that was really missing. Especially when I went to grad school soon after a breakup. I was in grad school and it was like, damn, it was a pain. Like, and that was like the summer, it was the summer before I got into grad, the, the before I started my program is when I broke up, my last like breakup. But you know, it's just like, I know what it feels like to, to what certain people feel like when they're like, no, no, I don't have any faith in you. You're ridiculous. Why do they even let you get a bachelor's? I've actually had people say that to me. I'm not going to name any names because I never do. But I've had people tell me that. And I was writing my thesis. I had to go through 13 drafts, mind you. I was writing my thesis. And I had to go, the, actually I had to go to the hospital because I was having chest pains and my friend took me to the hospital. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Everyone is really just, I just feel like people are just shitting on my soul right now. Like all the people that doubted me this whole time, now it's my one of my times to prove them wrong and I can't, I can't live up to that. And then I'd been listening to Drake way more than just casually, but I just started only listening to him and only listening to his music at the time like when I was when I would sit down and write my thesis that's all I'd listen to and I was like no if you can prove people wrong I'm gonna prove people wrong I just in my mind I don't know how that worked but that's what I thought I would listen to it and I would go you know you know not you know, to quote him of course know yourself know your worth your actions are louder than your words it's like I could put this shit on motivational posters in my house but I knew that there were so many people who had invested in me and were counting on me. And I did have, while I had a lot of detractors and haters, it was fuck those haters. They don't know you. You have to prove them wrong. And music really got me through that. When I was here, when I first moved here and I felt really alone, music got me through that. Whenever I'm down, music gets me through that. When I didn't have any friends, music got me through that. When I'm just, when I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I built a bookshelf that doesn't fucking hold books. Music got me through that too, cause I was definitely putting. I was listening to um, an album while I was putting that together. It took me over an hour to put this thing together. It doesn't even hold books, cause the wood is. I fucking hate that shit. But music definitely got me through that disappointment too, which I'm gonna fix at some point. I've gotta figure out the logistics of my bookshelf and why. Why? But that's what I'm saying. Music does so much for so many people. There's some people who listen to music and it just makes them feel so amazing. They'll think about loved ones they lost or they'll think about the first time they fell in love or, you know, maybe even when they got their heart broken. Music really can transform your whole day. It can make your whole day better or worse. I listen to music every time I go to, when I'm going to school. Even when I was going to school, it's not on. I would have a couple albums on my Zoom. Yes, I had a Zoom. Don't judge. Um, I would listen to that. Or even though I, I'm only 10, 15 minutes to walk from school now, I'll still get a couple songs in from my favorite artists to start my day. You know, there are certain classes where I'm like, man, this class is really difficult. I really had a hard time. I'll listen to music and mellow out. And I think that people really don't, sometimes people really discount the power of music, but you know, music is just amazing. It's just, it's one of the most amazing sensations I've ever felt. I feel like it understands me and I'm, I feel like I'm talking to it just by listening that I'm letting it in, and I'm letting it in and take my burden away from me. I mean, if there are people who are religious and, you know, especially black people in church, and they sing and the song washes over them and it kind of takes their pain away, that's what I'm talking about. Music does that. It's like that's music that does that. It's not just scripture. It is music that just washes over you and just tells you it's going to be okay and just keep pushing on and, you know, like it's 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 interesting that music can do that and that people it's not even necessarily the artists all the time and not their lives but it's their words and the way they put the comfort that the, just the way the music sounds sometimes it's not even the lyrics sometimes it's just like the sound soothes you and that was just something i find so fascinating about music and something that i think a lot of people when they think about music really counted out 
I think that when you listen to music, that's what you should, that's what music you should listen for. You should listen, have a good time, that's great, but listen to music that when you need help, when you need to reach out and you can't, that music has you. Music's got your back no matter what. So that was just how I feel about music and what I listen to and why I listen to it and why I love it. Um, you know, other than that, I mean, I'm trying to get my shit together with my life. It's hard. It's harder than I'd like it to be. I mean, no one said it'd be easy, but it's it's not the schoolwork that's bothering me. It's me that's getting in my way, and that's my problem. I will definitely get in my own way of success, and I guess, you know, but I do things my own way, and I won't apologize for greatness. But anyway, so I will see you guys next week, next Sunday. And uh, whenever you're watching this, have a good time. Hopefully you listen to some music too. But don't drown me out. <laughs>